I am fired up, and I know Gabe, you are fired up. Uh, I I am most fired up because being the uh, being the anchor here is probably one of the the biggest privileges that I could have being the last speaker that we're going to have. You know, we'll put out a a video tomorrow morning recognizing the top performers from today, but being able to speak to everybody live is such a huge thing. Before I get into what I want to share with everybody, I want to go through the top performers from yesterday because we had a whole bunch of you guys go out there and it's almost like the thing is winding down that a bunch of you just woke up and went out and started popping big numbers. It was pretty cool. Starting us off with $2,055, Colin DeVincent, $2,148 from Joe Sampson, $2,543 for Pam O'Leary, $2,824 for Amanda Lustbader, and that was third place. In second place, $3,186 for Colleen Kapachensky, and leading all scorers last night, I think he's sweet, $3,674 for Mark Futterwhite. So congratulations to you, Mark, on topping the charts yesterday. Very, very cool to see that. Yeah, because I don't know if there's anything that you want to say before I dive in, but I've been like 24 hours of just marinating and churning and ready to rock and roll. So if there's anything- No, that you I've want been, to other than I've been very anxious and waiting to hear you close us out. When you're done, I'd like you to tell it. When you're done, oh, yeah, no, we you, want to you, let you'll, everybody you'll know out. a little secret that we want to give. So, but yeah, well, right no, I now. Got, I got that ready to go. I'm already. I'm anchored. I'm anchored up. I'm ready, to, ready go. to go. Let's get it. All right, guys. So this is pretty cool. You know, the instinct that we've got is like what Giggs said. If you were on just a couple of minutes ago when Giggs was talking about today. And I think it's really important to start with something that I go back to periodically and I watch. It's a, a video clip and I'm not gonna share it with you. It's very easy to find. It's probably only about 15 seconds long. When Kobe Bryant was asked by a reporter after going up two nothing on the Orlando Magic in the 2009 NBA Finals, why he didn't look happy. I mean, he frankly looked miserable. And the reporter's like, like when are you gonna look happy? You're up two nothing. Jump and I'll them. never forget I'll never forget what Kobe Bryant said. He said, job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. And it was such an amazing reminder that no matter where you are in your competition, whether you're closing out a big game, whether you're looking forward to the next game, whether you're closing out a season and thinking about what lies ahead, our job is never finished. And I, I really hope that you guys catch the spirit of that the right way. This is always something that we're evolving in. We're getting better. We, we have the privilege of chasing bigger and bigger dreams, of doing things that are literally impossible in most other companies. That's something that we really need to appreciate. Now, it would be easy to say that I'm bringing this up because we still have today and tomorrow left in March. Easy to say that, well, many of us are shooting for a record. Job's not finished. And I get it. And of course, I'm here to remind everybody to finish strong. It's our time here at Gig Act. It's your time to shine, to win a Tesla, to win cash prizes, to be able to show the world once again who you are and what you're made of. But that is not why I'm mentioning Kobe this morning. There's something about the look on his face that gets me every time, that sour, unimpressed look that reminded everybody who saw it why he was so good at winning. Because even riding high on a win in the NBA Finals, going up 2 nothing. He was focused immediately on the next contest. He was already thinking minutes after he had just won about the next game, which brings us to April. Guys, after the show is over Thursday afternoon, the lights go off, paparazzi goes home. We don't hear about the Tesla again until somebody's name gets pulled out of a hat and wins it. What are you going to be doing when those lights go off? What are you going to be doing when the camera flash bulbs stop popping? And everybody isn't putting this big focus on Tesla, 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 because only two things will have happened after tomorrow afternoon. You will have missed your goal and realized you were capable of more, or you will have hit it and realized you were capable of more. Either way, you're going to know that there's more for you in April than there was in March. How we attack our goals for April from the start that's going to say more about who we are than anything else. Sure, and I don't want to overlook this. You know, the crunch time minutes, those highlight reel moments and those big games, 
Yeah, they helped define a player's legacy. Yes, coming up big last night, Mark Futterwhite, Colleen Kapachensky, doing 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 in a day, especially as we get down to the end. Yes, those are big moments. We don't want to overlook those. I mean, Colleen did win a Lamborghini after all and still showed up last night and popped three grand like she still got room in her garage for a Tesla. I get it. But where do those big moments come from? Do we wake up one morning and just decide today is the day we do 10 presentations? Usually it's not. You know where that comes from? Where that steel, that focus, that will, do you know where that comes from? It comes from the moments that we go hard when the lights are off and the stands are empty. Nobody's cheering for anybody. It's just us against us. Because the truth is that that's the only battle that matters. We say run your race all the time. And I don't know if we really appreciate what that means. If we need to catch our breath because our fingers are tired from dialing all month, all I ask is that you look at your goals. Close your eyes. See those goals come to pass and ask yourself the version of yourself that's already achieved the greatness you're chasing today. Ask that version of you what you had to do to get there. I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is going to be. I know what you're going to say to yourself. Be relentless. Don't stop because you got one win. Keep going. Remember that winning is a fleeting thing. Not all of us will win in March. The only win I'm talking about here is hitting the goal that you set out to hit. If you did, or you will before the month is over, I congratulate you. I really do. And I appreciate everything you did to achieve that goal. It's a great feeling. But I have to encourage you to push to your next goal. Because momentum, when it's on your side, it's everything. Unfortunately, momentum also can be fleeting if we don't protect it. So if we're just like too busy pumping our arms and congratulating ourselves that we did such a great job in March that we let everything that got us there start to fall, <laughs> no good, no good. What habits did you form this month that helped you that you want to hold on to? Are you willing to go backwards on the progress that you made this month? Because I'm not going backwards. Gigs isn't going backwards. I talked to a lot of you and I know that so many of you don't want to look back. You want to look forward. The great Vince Lombardi said, God, I love this quote. Winning is not a sometime thing. It's an all the time thing. You don't win once in a while. You don't do the right thing once in a while. You do them right all the time. Winning is a habit. Now, what does that mean? It means that just because there's no Tesla to win in April, no huge prizes to score, we still have something to play for. We play for our dreams. We play for our goals. We play for the people that we said we would do things for. We play for the person we'll become, even though there aren't these big things on the line. So if you're winning in March, stay focused, stay hungry, have a goal for this coming weekend and stick to it. No matter what, no matter how today goes, no matter how tomorrow goes, know how you're going to start April. You know, I picked that Lombardi quote from my high school yearbook. That's just a fun fact for everybody. I, I really believe in it. You know, I, I'm a big fan of doing the right things all the time, not just when it's convenient or easy or fun. But what a lot of people forget about that quote is how it ends. Yes, winning is a habit. But Lombardi was smart enough to add, unfortunately, so is losing. So what if your month didn't go the way that you thought it would? This is why we need to be grateful for waking up this morning and having another chance to do something amazing. So many Amen. people didn't get that chance today. Do you ever think about that? You were in the life <laughs> insurance business. Do you ever think about the opportunity that we get, what we're blessed with? Amen. That for, what was that, Giggs? I said, amen. That means I oh. agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. So listen, if we, if we wallow in self-pity, if we just focus on negativity, if we just look at the things that didn't go right, we're stuck. We start forming the wrong habits. <clears throat> Let the no-shows go. Let the no-answers go. Let the no's go. Just let it go. Move on. April is going to be a brand new month. Today is a brand new day. Why would we carry that crap with us into the next game? 
We can't do it. Legendary performers understand what has to happen after a big game or a big season ends. They have to get ready for the next one. Tom Brady knows this, which is why his name alone reminds us of winning. And he said mental toughness is such an important part of athletics, and it's such an important part of life. Mental toughness. Because you're going to face a lot of adversities. And you've got to embrace those, and you've got to overcome them. We're all going to have adversities, guys. Every single one of us. I've got adversities in my life every day. Every day. The world doesn't see it. The world doesn't hear about it. The world doesn't need to know it. That's my battle to fight. And I'm going to fight it. And I'm going to overcome those adversities. And I'm going to encourage you to. I think it's appropriate to wrap up with the one and only Babe Ruth, who may have made this whole thing as simple for us as it possibly could be. You know what he said? Yesterday's home runs don't win today's games. And he hit 714 of those home runs in his career. It's not about the home run we hit yesterday. It's about the home run we're going to hit today, tomorrow, and the next day. So what are you going to do today? What are you planning for for tomorrow, for April? Are you ready to take your place amongst the greats of this company to be one of the champions in a month where the only thing you're fighting for is being better than you were the month before? I believe that I and you and we can and will be better in April than we were in March. We just have to decide to be better. So let's get into that smart goals app. Let's be intentional about what we want April to look like. Let's decide to go for our best month ever for no other reason than we can. Anybody with me here? Anybody gonna go for their best month ever? Anybody gonna go for that? I mean, I think it's time. And now I do wanna close this out and Giggs is just, is jonesing for this. No, no, so yeah, I I, yeah, whoa, 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 I just, but before you go close this out, but then I gotta do a double close. Don't anybody go anywhere. No, nobody's going anywhere. Nobody's going All anywhere. Right. I want you guys to take a look at this. See that? Yeah. That's me and Giggs with Julie Schwab and Mark Futterwhite. That's John Pollock chilling out on Giggs's boat. That was the last dock and dying contest that we did back in September. So I just want to give you a little taste. Yeah, there will not be a Tesla. There will not be gigantic cash prizes. But what there will be at the end of April for anybody that does 15K, just because they're going for something great, they'll get to join Giggs and I as we go to Proving Ground for an amazing lunch take a ride up the Navistink River in his boat, which is super cool. I've done it a bunch of times. And I know that if you talk to Julie or Mark or John, they'll tell you they had a great time. I really can't wait to have a whole bunch of you on that boat. And we were talking about it yesterday. If we need to take two trips, because there are a whole bunch of you that are going to do it, then let's go do that. We'll, we'll make two trips. We'll do two lunches. But guys, it's our time. Let's go get it. Thank you, David. Woo! Come on, guys. Show him some love, baby. He was ready. I apologize. I apologize. I didn't get to see anything in the comments, so I hope it was nice. I hope you were saying nice things. I, I David, I gotta believe it was all good. But like you, I've been concentrating and looking at all of your faces. Two things I'm gonna let you guys rock. Number one, I hope you will all join me at 10 o'clock in the is it in the BYB, David? BYB, That's where we're at. BYB. I hope I'll, you will join me. I let have me put some, that in there right now. Hold on. I, I've done a lot of prep for you guys. I promise you I will deliver the goods. I'm going to be talking about the power of referrals, the power of networking, and the power of your goals. Now, as I as we close out, I want to just, you know, in the news today, we all know what is dominating the news. And if you didn't know it, Chris Rock seats went from $100 to $400 to go see Chris Rock, okay? I, I, I'm gonna be saying things like, let's do the Chris Rock thing. Someone whacks you, someone hits you, be a classy guy. Who's with me on this one? No matter how what life deals you, you gotta be classy. You gotta respond the right way. So let's get together at 10 o'clock. I hope to see all of you like David today who prepared very much to visit with you, I too, I'm very prepared to visit with all of you and I'm excited and I'm looking forward to being with every single one of you. I can't tell you what kind of opportunity you all have. You need to experience it and it's going to take one day at a time. I am not far away personally from this company. I'm not far away from this company releasing an amount of renewal income that will blow anyone's mind. And it's not because I'm that great. 
It's because I work for and with a great company with a bunch of great people. So no matter what your adversities are, like David said at the end there, Babe Ruth, he hit more home runs than anyone, but remember, he also struck out more than anyone also. So it doesn't matter if you struck out yesterday, the day before, or the week before that. Today is a brand new day. Let's treat it as such. Let's dust off yesterday. And like David said, let's go at April like we've never gone at it before. Love you guys. See you at 10 o'clock. And I hope to see all of you on my boat. I want to take all of you to lunch. Let's go.